it going everybody this is trigger ph and today we are going to be going over the exotic quest line four to get to the exotic kvostov honestly it's an awesome weapon i was playing around with it a little bit you can customize it so much i love it i'm going to play with it a lot honestly i might use it in crucible i think it could be good enough but uh yeah so i'm gonna tell you guys how to start the quest line one if you have the original uh kvostov from the very beginning of the game it was the first weapon you picked up you can go ahead and dismantle this Kvostov to give you the exotic Kvostov schematic that will just start you on the quest. You go talk to uh, Shiro 4, which you guys will see me do it here in a second. Yeah, you get the exotic Kvostov 7G schematic and go talk to Shiro and start the quest immediately that way. Or there was another way to do it, and at first I thought you just had to kill things in the play like the plague land to uh, start the quest you'll just get it as a drop but there's actually a certain way that you guys can get this now I'll put that on the screen here in just a second but pretty much you guys know what right when you start a destiny the first mission the ghost comes to you and you're on that highway uh, that's where we're gonna be running back uh, kinda like through the rocking yard so I think you're gonna want to you're gonna want to spawn in on the plague lands and in a little bit if you guys don't know how to get back to the spot you'll kind of see me uh, backtrack a little bit to get some exotic weapon parts for the exotic Kvostov so uh, yeah, you're gonna go back all the way to that spot which you guys see now on the screen and there's a catch and inside that catch you guys are gonna need a splicer key so you might want to kill some things get a splicer key because uh, you can get a splicer key as a drop from just ads in the plague lands but once you get a splicer key, come to this catch, and inside there will be a servitor that you have to kill, kind of like a, a little boss, a mini boss. Kill him, and then a chest will spawn in that room, and in that chest you can uh, open it up and get the exotic schematic to start the quest. And then those are the two ways that you can start this quest. Alright, now that you guys have hopefully started the quest, or you will do it a little bit later, once you do start the quest, you're going to want to go ahead straight to the plague land, spawn in, and to get the Kvostov manual play pages, you're just going to want to kill ads. And here's a clip of me getting my first page right here. Hey, Kvostov manual page. I just killed that alkalite right there, guys. You saw it. Killed the alkalite and got a manual page. So, All right, guys. So, yeah, pretty easy to get the uh, Kvostov manual pages. All you got to do is just kill ads in the plague land you need to collect 10 so it doesn't take too long to pick up all 10 I did not get um, no pages from chess so I don't think you uh, really need to open those I mean if you can if you want but I didn't get one from a chess I just got them from killing ads so go ahead and collect those 10 Kostov, Kvostov manual pages and then once you got those we will go ahead and pick up the three weapon parts that you need to create your exotic Kvostov Okay guys, so, the next part we're going to do after we get the Kvostov manual pages, you're going to want to spawn back in at the Plague Lands, and we're going to head over here to the right, but I'm going to leave you guys to just follow the path, because I don't really need to talk, so I'll give you guys some music to listen to, but um, all these weapon parts that I pick up are pretty much in order, you guys can do the same route that I take, I, I would suggest it, it's pretty easy, just follow the path that I take, uh, pause it if you need to, after every time I get a weapon part or if I get too far ahead of you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave you to some music. Once we get all three weapon parts, I will be back.
Alright, since the music stopped, I will be back, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we are about to pick up the third and final weapon part. Just come in here to Dock 13. You don't need to hop off your sparrow and turn around like I did. I just, uh, I got a little confused. But, yeah, just know, keep going through this way that you guys are coming anyways through Dock 13. We're gonna pretty much go to where the, we killed the Archon, not the Archon Priest, but one, that, that captain that you killed, like, on the first mission that you did. Uh, we're just gonna come over here, and then right under these stairs that you see will be your third weapon part. Pick those up, and then we are going to head back to Shiro at the Iron Temple to pick up our next step of the quest. Once you guys spawn in at the Iron Temple, run down to the right to Shiro 4 and pick up the next step of the quest. We found a rifle. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and press continue. Uh, and we're going to get a new step and we have to do a mission called a Kvostov Rising. It's, uh, if you're doing a solo kill him, the boss guy, it, it could be a little bit challenging, I suppose. It's not too bad, though. Uh, you know, if you're doing it with a group, it'll be pretty easy. But yeah, go ahead and... It's going to be on the Cosmo Drone, so just go ahead and start up that mission and run through it, and I will come back at the end of that mission. Alright guys, hopefully you guys didn't have too much trouble with this mission, killing the boss, but once you kill the boss, uh, Fallen Captain Guy, you will see an exotic engram on the ground, and you know what it is, that is your exotic Kvastov 7G06. And uh, honestly, this weapon is a lot of fun to use. It's just it's nostalgia if you use this weapon, uh, you know, at all from year one. I honestly I played within the Crucible sometimes, so I'm really stoked about this weapon. Like I said before, you can customize it so much, and in this mission right now, you guys will be able to go and uh, use it a little bit, which is pretty fun. But yeah, you can have it like full auto. You can have it semi auto. You can have it like a pulse rifle, three round burst. And then you can have it at 450 right per minute, or you can have it at 900. There's just so much you can do with this weapon. Uh, but yes, guys, hopefully this video helped you out. I know the trickiest part for me was getting those weapon parts. So, you know, I really, I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, um, awesome. I'm glad I could help you guys out. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming for Rise of Iron. I ran out of ammo with my weapon right here, but... Uh, Yes, guys, enjoy your new exotic Vostov. I know I will. I'll catch you guys all later on my next video. Peace out, everybody.